and I felt the good beauty that comes from what is real. It made sense that the centric folds of grief, love, and compassion would be found not only on the pages of Klein's book, but in the shapes of Michelangelo's Pieta. Most of all, it made sense that these forms, produced so humanly by the irrepressible movements of a finger, can give clarity, and given clarity by a brilliant scientist, can hold keys to sympathy and emotional contagion, empathy and affective understanding. The recurring subject of Wordsworth contemplation, the underlying benevolence of the universe that coordinates the human mind with nature, here finds a powerfully elegant scientific expression. This seminar has tried to foster and promote the burgeoning discourse on emotions and feelings as cognitive, or somehow potentially more profound than philosophy has known how to acknowledge. Klein's work in this and other areas um, can inform the many discourses happening within and outside academia. One way the spot of time is bearing fruit is the seminar, which I hope will contribute to Klein's work having a, the share in the discourse it deserves. Let me conclude this inadequate introduction, for I could go on for a very long time about his scientific discoveries, his inventions, his papers, his literary achievements, and his extraordinary life, with a short rumination about this sentence from the book Sentence. sentence. Quote, it should recompense us well to study the qualities of our emotional spectrum, studying them not as a pathologist dissects, but in, as an artist peers for his materials. Klein's articulated and charted these qualities of the emotional spectrum. He also developed a method called Centic Cycles that allows a person to move with virtuosity through this spectrum. These givens of emotion, like the notes of music, can progressively be moved toward a human, toward a, an artistry of ethics and more modulated participation in life. Centic cycles are a way of promoting the purity of feeling each emotional quality and the mobility between states or qualities, and can be a prelude to summoning and orchestrating them more powerfully and beautifully so that our modes of feeling become more musical, more gracefully powerful in themselves. Additionally, we can learn to be more powerfully informed by music. But this is still a gathering of materials, as, as that powerful sentence of Pines refers to. He then hints in a poem called True Music that music, which is a supreme goal in itself from one point of view, can become material for a further artistry. For it brings new refinements, intensifications of feeling. We can then choose to become artists of those feelings or not. The feeling itself is not an end in fine thought, as I understand, but the deep human choice, um, the self-sculpting to orchestrate them in the service of the human artistry of ethics. So I'll just read a short section from this powerful poem because the reason I read it, and then I, I will yield the, the floor to, to the person who I, I want to be standing here, is I'm, I'm very moved by, by a life that has gone so powerfully, incisively, brilliantly, caringly into this human dimension of how we feel, and yet is not facilely just celebrating let's all feel. Let's elevate feeling into some simple solution for all that's human. He shows the beauty, the insight, the, the directionality, the possibility of feeling better than, it, than you know, anyone. And, and then, then, he, then he says with great integrity, and it's not so simple. There, there's a way we have to use those feelings for an artistry, an ethical artistry that, that that is not simply the product of amassing them. Referring to the joy of music, he says, joy by itself cannot endure unless fed 
by love continuously with a break only, for reverence, for the source of love. This Beethoven did in his music precisely, but even he could not do it in daily life all the time. Only the greatest music even begins to be great enough to start to erase our inflamed blind spot. Music is personal but contains no address, a fatal flaw. The default address we provide automatically acknowledges our blind spot. This deeply inflamed stain music needs to attack to let love flow freely to the dark unseen regions, to those not on our address file. It could not do it for Beethoven, nor would it for the workers of, how, how would it for the workers of Buchenwald? Our address system is fashioned by a different non-musical compiler. Music can only deliver the address, not find the address. That is a Gnostic function of love itself, writing its own evolution. <laughs> Just to say it once more, it's, 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 it's very beautiful to me that someone who has cultivated and understood and gone deeply into feeling still knows that all of this is in the service of something more that he is also giving us great clues about. I'm, I'm very